there are no issues at the border crossing. I'm a Canadian citizen, so I shouldn't have any difficulties getting in, but I am bringing a bunch of crap with me and a cat. <laughs> that is the last exit before Canada. I love it here. I know I can always come back in, but it's not a quick turnaround. When I get into Canada, I'm gonna need to quarantine for two weeks. I'm looking forward to seeing my family, and I'm very grateful to be going home for the holidays. But really, um, I'm feeling a little sad. Man, that was long. That was, um, that was trying. There are a bunch of things I didn't know about. I had to import my car um, and export my car. Two processes I didn't know anything about. Anyway, I got my Timmy's. Um, I am going to be with family for Christmas. So I will take my mom in the van and we're gonna drive a nice little eight hour road trip. Somewhere. We just made a quick pit stop and letting Piggy get some fresh air. And we're on our way. We are. And we're excited. We're almost there. Yeah. All except for Cookie. She's not excited. <laughs> to start the year um it's just one of those freak accidents i was out playing with my niece and when i fell like my back landed on top of my leg which was bent the wrong way from a height all i could do was laugh because it hurts so freaking much <laughs> of course my niece thought i was joking she's like you're joking right auntie sarah oh man the poor thing just getting ready for surgery this is actually my first my first time um oh shit i spilled my ice chips it was so painful man the bone doesn't hurt like the break didn't hurt nearly as much as like having my ankle like kind of hanging you know uh, this is the leg that i drive with too so I mean, like i can't put any kind of pressure on it more than anything i'm just uh thinking about recovery and what that's gonna be like gotta get through surgery first though it's been about a week since this happened um luckily and thankfully, I was close to family when this all happened. So I've been in the house a lot, which is wonderful because there's just like a full-size shower, full-size fridge, laundry, you know, all the conveniences, and of course, just somebody to help me. Okay. And that ligament rupture. So what happened now, instead of uh, keeping like a tight joint, now they are sitting like that. So your, your ankle is unstable. Okay. The, the fibula and the tibia separated at the ankle. So they had to, you know, I guess squeeze those back together and put some screws in. I'm gonna bring you for surgery. Okay. And we are planning to put the two screws above to hold them. You should be non way bearing for up to six weeks after surgery. Um, no weight on this for another six weeks at least and your surgeon is going to be dr barrocks she's our ankle and foot specialist questions you know it'll be a i think a bit of a long recovery so um yeah i need to just slow down change my pace and realize i need to just heal myself spend some time in one place just gotta i think i'm okay i think it went well I don't feel anything right now. I'm sleeping. I still like hanging out in here. It's because it's home, you know? Around the bend. 
Can you see this? Look at that. It's, uh, I've been doing macrame. It's so fun. I'm so proud of this. I think it'll actually look really cute in here. I want to like macrame a garland to hang up here. I'm staying positive. All right. All done. Getting ready to leave. And recovery begins now. I go back in a couple weeks to get the stitches taken out and we'll see how things are going right now. I really have no idea how it's healing or what's happening in there. My hair looks so good. All I can do right now is rest, recover, um, enjoy the time with my family because I, you never know when you'll get this kind of time again. <laughs>